Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And we are back in the town of Valentine, guys, and Arthur definitely needs the change of scenery. In the last episode, we witnessed the death of Kiernan, who was murdered, beheaded, and then ridden into town carrying his own severed head into Shady Bell right before the Driscoll attack. So, so uh, yeah, things are going well there. Dutch and the gang are in the process of packing up. Um, don't know how long that's going to take. But I figured we'd go ahead and ride up here to Valentine, back to where some of our adventure originally began, because we have some unfinished business. We've got a stranger mission here, and also Jim Boy Calloway, the gunfighter that we originally took the mission for, or at least from the author, to uh, talk, quote-unquote talk, to all of those gunfighters, and we ended up shooting all but uh, Black Bell. So, good times there. Let's go ahead and see what this mystery um, man or woman has in store for us, and then we'll go talk to Jim Boy. And to be fair, Arthur looks quite different in terms of hair length, I believe, and garb since the last time we were here. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us. All right here, folks. My All right. Fine. You there. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Good for nothing, no more. I won that game fair and square. Hey, howdy, sir. Fair and square, my ass. What? Heard me fair. Well, why don't you let your pistol do My friend. Wait, yes. is someone about to get shot? Your move. I'm hearing early Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. Bet they had a happy childhood. At least we're doing Listen, this in an alley. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Oh, we got to do a quick a draw. Okay. You got it. <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, these boys are so silly. Oh, this is going to end horribly. Please, put us out of our misery. Okay, now can we... Is as good a time as any. Okay. Yes. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. No, I don't want to shoot myself. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Ready? Ooh. Excellent. Ooh. 
Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. Nope, my sweet. Oi. Oh, brother. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that is not the only shooting we are going to be doing in this episode because shooting all those gunfighters who knows that might have actually up that might actually upset Jim boy now before we do anything else let's go ahead and grab some hmm co cocaine gum some snake oil there we go Just gotta fill up the tank because you never know. Hello. Now let's see what Jim Boy's up to while we've been gone all this time. Damn it. Are you crazy? Step right up, Valentine. Real Step bad right up. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Oh, is this guy still here? Hell's bells, dude. Yeah, it's been a while. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. I did. He wants to beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? Uh... No? Are you really calling me crazy? I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw... Terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... Funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Oh, okay, Mickey. But most likely has uh, PTSD, I would assume. Or ah. shell shock, as they called it back then. At least during uh, the era of World War One and Two. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. You ain't scaring nobody. <clears throat> hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis on the riverboat? Oh, okay then. Oh, good lord. Okay. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to San Denis and hand you some Sazerac. That Sazerac, huh? They serve on the line, gave me the back door trots. I was in the outhouse. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our brief here. Well, we've got eagle flies close here next to the um, Harland oil fields. I guess while we're nearby, it would probably be best to go ahead and check that out, so see what he's up to and how we can help him and his tribe. Now, if you guys remember Red Dead 1, you probably remember the state of the Native American tribes near the end of the game, or at least that one. It wasn't necessarily a tribe, but a gathering, and I'm curious if we're going to get if we've got any clues um, as to how that happens in this game. Because that would be fairly interesting to see how all that came about. 
Man, it's been a long time since we've rode through here. Now, if you guys remember the last time we went to the Heartland oil fields, we had to go steal two oil um, wagons. Fortunately, we didn't actually have to go into the refinery. We caught one of, the, or I think, no, we only needed one of them. We caught one of them on the road. And that was for um, the train job where we had to put it up on the middle of the tracks and set, or not set it on fire, but threaten that we were setting it on fire. Okay, then. Looks like we're about to get our fill of the refinery, I would assume. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Am I quick? I guess I am. Oh, I'm a lot more exposed than I would care to be. But at least we're out of the rain. Oh, I like the Native American flute music. And you can see eagle flies there on the basin giving us a look-see. The music in this game has been top-notch. I haven't heard anything to the level of Far Away by Jose Gonzalez yet, but in terms of just general ambiance and music, pretty awesome. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. We're running into guards. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. Phew, that was close. I wonder if that was designed to, uh, give us a scare. Do we go ahead and get out of the wagon now, or...? Alright, I'm gonna start loading up. Sneak into the factory. Well, we're here at the offices. And that didn't work. Hmm. Okay, we got windows that way. Doesn't look like we can... Oh, yes we can jump on the roof. Holy crap. Now can we drop down? What? Dan Barry destroyed the documents. Okay, I guess we just... Dropped, like, right in front of him. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> My mistake. If you are quick, you oh crap. Alrighty. And we're all the way back here, huh? Well, let's look at the map real quick and kind of get our 
That might be the only door in, at least that we can actually use. It's kind of strange. Normally, a checkpoint would have been a lot closer from, uh, like, when we got out of the wagon. It's all right, though. We got good music to make up for it. If this, if this doesn't work, we may go ahead and just uh, try the fence. It looks like it's cold outside. I just got a notice on the HUD that our health core was going down a little bit. It's just hey, Al. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. Thank you, Bob. At least we'll be under cover of darkness. That should assist us in this undertaking. Looking for doors... I'm not seeing right. any. I'm gonna start loading up. Okay. Oh, psh. well, fine. Guess we'll do it your way. Okay, and that goes right back outside. Holy crap. No choking anyone out, I would assume. Okay, guy was doing some shoveling. Maybe now we've hit a checkpoint. Oh yeah, he looked out the window. That is exactly what happened. Probably dropped right in front of him. Now, can we go through here? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to see. friend this won't take long interrogate Danbury my friend I can drag you over this table now Danbury yes I need some papers my friend nothing important a file I'm from head office you're not from head office does that seem important right now no I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. Come on. It's here! It's here! We went super aggressive that go-around, didn't we? Don't pull a gun. Alright. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. 
Escape the office through the window? Okay. This is how office staff leave. Hey, 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 hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air! Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again! Whoa! Nice diversion, Eagle Flies. Holy crap. Alright, let's go. Oh! Okay, I need both weapons, please. Right there. Gotcha. Whew. Whoa. Okay, we got a crossfire situation going on here. Take cover. Oh, you had a you had a face. Over here. Good man, Eagle Flies. Come on, Arthur. Oh, you got Rosalina. Did you get the documents? Now let's switch over to the carbine. They're coming after us. Whoa. Do we have snake oil? Yeah. Well, we need that first off. Oh, um, yes. Now switch back. Oh, don't you hit, hurt my horse. How dare you? Oh, I hate it when they say almost. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. Yeah, so obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. $250. And we even did a gang share, too. Because that's just the kind of nice person Arthur is. Okay. Now then. Oh, we got Dragic, don't we? Man, he is so far away from us, though. And like I said, I have a strange feeling we're going to be heading up here very soon, so we're going to keep him kind of away at the moment. And I guess we're going to time for the long ride back to St. Denis. Yeah. Because <laughs> Dutch said we were moving again, so... And we kind of ran out of areas to go unless we're heading over to, like, um, back toward Blackwater, which I assume is not in, not in Dutch's plans. Or at least Hosea's. Whoa. Slow it up. Corpses. 
Are these... Oh, these are guards. <laughs> we have shot these people. Well, at least not. Want not. Yeah. You got a nice horse stimulant for uh, yep. Rosalina here. <laughs> you did good, girl. We'll give you a nice brush once we're back into town. We'll see what happens. Got a camp over there. I kind of wonder if you have that campfire environment at the gang's camp, if you walk up to a camp and be like, hey, how you guys doing? And just sit down, if you could get that same kind of experience. I don't want to test that right now, because I don't want to get shot. But it does make me wonder. Now, let's see. And then just heads down south. I'll actually be going by roads again, at least a little bit. No worries there. We were oh so popular in Rhodes. And every time we go to Rhodes now, all I'm gonna think about is Sean getting shot in the head. So Sean got shot in the head by a rifle. Kiernan got beheaded. Like a lot of cranial trauma I'm seeing. I'm hoping that, that that theme doesn't continue among the rest of the gang because that'll be uh, bad times. No worries. Don't want to get involved in that nonsense. Like, if it seems like they're just grabbing someone to grab, then I'd be completely okay with getting involved in that, but... Not my fight. These are the state. This is the. This is the stables where we dropped off that oil wagon. That's kind of awesome because I'm starting to remember like points on the map, like the original Red Dead. Because I remember a lot of the original Red Dead map. It's kind of like um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and San Andreas. Because got to the point that I played those games so much, um, Vice City specifically, that I kind of knew the map of Vice City more so than the town I grew up in. <laughs> and I knew that town pretty well, but now keep in mind there was less of Vice City to remember. But I really like it when you play a game long enough that a lot of stuff starts becoming routine in, in terms of like um, places and maps. And I see a rainbow there in the distance of the fog. That's kind of cool. Oh, we're near the ghost town. As we find ourselves back in the swampland where nothing bad could possibly happen to us. I'm just... I'm actually not really looking in front of us. I'm looking at the radar. Just so I don't have another incident of being pulled off Rosalina and potentially gutted. Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, nice. Very nice, guys. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they're. They're riding from behind. Phew. That was well planned, guys. Well planned. What do we got over here? We got lights coming from whatever this building is. Whoa, 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 whoa. And more riders. Such 
Whew. Hells, bells. See a sensible man riding with a lantern. Is it is it a fine morning though? Seems seems pretty crappy to me. I didn't want to risk uh, Rosalina getting shot up in the crossfire. Easy. And what's going on over here? Oh, this is not going to end well for us. But I see the light, and I want to I want to see what it is. Is it just like a shack? Is that a deer blind kind of thing? Oh, just an elevated storage shed. We're in an orchard. Huh. Okay. Well, it looks like the orchard house is this direction. Let's see what's what. Maybe the people are home. Howdy. Hey, mister. Hello? Alright. <laughs> Don't want to do any early morning robbery. Just wanted to say hey. Now that morning has broken. That was the perfect time for an ambush, too. From the Lemoyne Raiders, or at least what's left of them. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, we have kind of lost track of where we need to be now. Oh, never mind. Here's St. Denis. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a... We're going to take some medicine, get our health and cores and whatnot back up to full. Then we'll uh, get our dead eye back up, give Rosalina a good brushing and feeding, and then go talk to Jim Boy Calloway. I want to take care of that before we chat with Dutch, because I have a feeling that the situation with Dutch, since it's the only like main storyline mission that we have, is maybe going to finish our business here. And it's a shame. I've really enjoyed St. Denis. So we make sure we avoid actually talking to Dutch. Ugh, oh, Arthur has a headache. Come on. I know you got some money. Get yourself some real mm. food, huh? Listen. You have to take this. Mm, that's real Ooh. kind. Of. Ginseng elixir. I lost nice. my money playing poker. Oh. Come on, sir. I know where a good game is. No complaints Above the gunsmith. Uh. Oh. Excellent. Real Hush, hush. Okay. We'll have to check that out. As long as there's not people being kept in the basement. I think we'll be in good shape. Oh. Well, we could jump, jump in here and get some sleep real quick before we chat with Jim Boy, but... Eh. It's morning. What could go wrong? Are you yourself? Where's he hiding Who out? What's the with you? So angry. Yeah. Yeah, 
I wonder if we could actually go into the Jade Dragon restaurant. I kind of doubt it, though. You're fine, you're fine. All right. So, go ahead and pat. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, you got riddled with holes. Let's get you looking good. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I think that should be in good shape. Let's give her another brushing. Good morning. Morning. All right. Now, ah, uh, yes, the riverboat. We are quite familiar with this fine vessel. Now let's go ahead and get our. Got some open snake oil. And we may as well some salted beef. Doesn't seem like we've eaten in a while. And do we have anything specifically just to raise the... Eh, some fine brandy. Yay for littering not being a crime. I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. I highly doubt that. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I share the money, of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well, especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this Grassney? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody, <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody. You goddamn. I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What right a way with words. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I, I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody! No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State Marshal? Oh. Make a damn cousin killer State Marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. 
This is going to be Jim Boy's last stand, pulling a Don Quixote. Shooting at windmills instead of lancing them. Locate and capture Slim Grant in Ansberg. And Ansberg is way up north, isn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I think this is a good place to end it for today. And since we are hanging out right next to Dutch, I guess we better conclude our business here in uh, St. Denis. So Arthur's going to go ahead and get himself a nap and a bath and uh, get ready for some more bloodshed. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.